Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you are alive. Oh, what is I'm just sure. What? What else do we need to talk about? So you can refresh now. There you are. There I am. Hmm. So, what is that usual? Where's? <laughs> what do you need? The sign. Where's oh, the gosh. sign gone? Oh, it was golly. here, wasn't it? Oh golly. <laughs> Is it it? I know we have it. I know we have it. I know we have it. I'm sure we brought one home. I can just pop it up on. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. You know why? Because I saw it at the back of the stand um, at work. Uh. So that's all good. Uh, should I just stand here and look official? Like Yes. Like I'm doing so. <laughs> I can't believe after the morning whirlwind that I can now stand here and go. Oh, it was a day, wasn't it? It was a day. It's not over yet. No, it's not. So I have to talk to the Quilters Life Girls, Club Girls, Sewing Machine Girls, <laughs> Benina Girls. This is important. And then Viv, Natasha. John. And the 20 people that are watching that. And the 20 people that are, oh, sorry. <laughs> 20 people, who's, who is here today? Hello, how are you? It's Tuesday again. What happened? I do, I'll tell you, I will tell you what happened in, in just a minute. Okay. So, I have no comments. Oh, I do. Do you have comments? I don't have comments yet. Um. No, I don't have comments. I don't think anyone's commented yet. Oh, well then that's okay then. But I do know that Maria and Wendy are watching and Barbara Lawrence is watching and Anne Beecroft is watching. Good afternoon, Anne. Hello, Rosemary. How are you today? Are you good? I hope so. Rosemary, it's your day. It's butterfly day. It's butterfly day. Well, it's butterfly and it's technique day, which is all going to be good. And I have got really nice specials today and it almost takes me back Kate to way back to excuse me hitching the brass trap <laughs> um, it takes me way back to a cold wintry lockdown July last year when Kate and I said let's have a go let's just have a go and see if we can do this and look at us now I know I think we're doing all right Marie's here Michelle Fish is here oh hello Carol Hill Nice quilt, very, very nice. Christine's here. Um, yes, Maria, hello. It's really nice to see you. Do we know Marilla Billette? You filled the orders from last week. Maria, where are you? Tell me, please tell me where you are, Carol Hill. I know where you are. And Bonnie, where's Bonnie? Where's There's people Bywong? here. Sorry? Hazel from Baiwong. I know Hazel. Where's Baiwong? Miles away. It's not around <laughs> the corner. Barbara Lawrence is here. Um, Jennifer Smith is here. Hello. Hazel, Hazel and I go whoosh, way back. I'll have to tell um, Emma that Hazel's watching. Carol, hello Fiona. Fiona, did you get, we did an order, a nice, a nice order for Fiona from last week's show. Am I right? I think Fiona pretty much, yes. Cass is here. Fiona pretty much did can I brag about, sorry Fiona, you don't get a choice because you can't tell me off yet. Fiona loved our specials last week, let's just say that, <laughs> was that, that leaving it open for interpretation. Uh, Maria here's, and Sharon says, we are all here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are because Joan's in the building as well and my, oh, everyone's here. Kerry's here, yeah, okay, everyone's here. Um, yes, Cass. It is ombre day. Now we have had several ombre days before, have we not, Floria? Um, and we've talked about, thanks Fiona, we've talked about ombres in terms of specials and I probably have touched on a few of the uses for them but we're actually going to do one today and then we've got some really nice little packages for you. Um, Ruth, see, Ruth loves us now, you know why? Because one daylight saving is over and we don't do it in the morning, so she doesn't have to get out of bed before the crows. 
I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay, Ruth, and everyone else in WA. It's, we're Victorian. We know how you feel. <laughs> Let's just say that. Elaine. We've kind of done that. <laughs> we've kind Watch of me. done that. Hello, Rosemary Brooks. You're here too. And Joyce here. All right. Let's, um, I could just stand here and say hello all day, couldn't I? Yeah. So we should start. Now, see this? I bought, I bought this cover with a little stand and it, it, it kind of works, but I, um, <clears throat> I got a little bit of phone cushion envy. Never thought I'd say that out loud. Phone cushion envy. Natasha's got this cool little mini bean bag thing that she props up her phone in. And it's not a hard stand, it's quite pretty and you make it out of fabric. So I've asked her for the pattern and we will be making that probably, I think it's next week, week after. So I'll get us some samples made. Um, got some, I've got some gorgeous ideas and things for that. So we're going to do that on the show in two weeks' time. Um, hello, Chris and Marilyn and Jeanette. Good to see you. Good, good, good to see you. So uh, the one thing that I did put in the title for today's show was that we were going to do cushions and a tote bag. And reality hit at about 2 a.m. this morning. Yeah. No. <laughs> There's no way we were going to pull off everything today with the specials and two projects so I've moved the tote bag I'm so sorry to next week but when you when you see what I'm doing with it and the offer and the demo and everything next week you're gonna love it I hope you'll be happy you waited and also if you've already bought one of those designer packs last week you are in good stead for next week's project so we're going to use those to make a tote and a matching zip purse uh, and I've got a couple more colours in the designer block packs to offer you next week. So I've, I've moved that out. It, it's way too much for one show. Particularly after yesterday. And yesterday was a really, really fun day. And it resulted in more specials for you. <laughs> hello, Sharon. Hello, Karen. Hello, Jenny. And Lynette's here too. Oh, and Lynn Fairport. Everyone's here. That's all good. All right. So I'm this dodgy... I think I can do it. Just stay. I should try that on Ginny when she comes in later. Stay. All right. So um, quickly as well for everyone in a quilter's life. Yeah, I tricked you this week, didn't I? I offered you a super deal. And our poor old website after its last software update went, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> no. So if you uh, did want to order, and if anyone else wants to know, what are they getting that I don't get? All of our members in a quilter's life club. Um, they get $10 off any purchase over $50, unlimited orders, all for the month of May. That includes the sale that was on on the weekend, which I haven't had time to take all the specials down yet, so if you haven't been on there and had a play, you can. You can still go there and play. Uh, and for those that did the combo deal that bought from the website show and our live last week, look, if if you rock up with and you've got two orders or I've missed one, just tell me. It was it was a little bit manic and we hadn't thought about that complication. So if you do get them go, hey, they could have gone in the same pack, just just ring me and, and we'll fix the postage for you. Um, but yes, everyone in a quilter's life, really sorry. Phil's over. I'm looking. He's not going to be here yet. Philip's over for dinner tonight. He's Rob's the IT guru for everything that works. Phil's the next level up. He's the guru for everything that doesn't work because he is an IT man that works for a web server company. He's amazing. So he's going to have a look and see if we can fix it. But Kate has, well, she doesn't know where you live, but she has our list of members. So that's at work. Anytime we take an order this month, we're going to double check. If you're in a quilter's life, we'll just take the $10 off for you. And again, if we've missed it, just let us know and we'll fix it up. Um, applique club girls your packs should literally be arriving or will have arrived as i'm here with you now uh lorna uk went out a little late and there's another lady in the uk that went out just a snip late they're on their way i promise and i have already we've already packed this month's so super late and then super on time um and Benina girls, a few of you have rung today and yesterday about booking appointments to come and try out a super duper Benina during the sales. Thank you very much. I've tried a couple of you, a couple are ringing back, 
but I've got all of your messages. So again, if you haven't heard from me, just ring and we'll fix up an appointment. If you wish to order today during the show, you can ring because we're at home again and Em's at work. Um, and she'll take your orders down there. <laughs> Miss Kate is not going to write down your orders as we go this week because she doesn't know what they are yet. <laughs> so we, we cut it we cut it just a bit fine and I bought all this new stuff yesterday and then new stuff arrived from the US this morning and yesterday so she's going to literally write it down as I make it up as we go so that's going to be fun. It's a surprise for us all. It's a surprise for not just you, for everybody else. <laughs> all right one more sip of coffee and then we'll we'll go. Um, Prue said she was accidentally playing it twice and just thought you were very chatty today but it was just you times two. <laughs> Prue, that's really funny. Speaking of times two, I do just have to mention one thing, and we're not we're not criticising, are we, Kate? We we love the fact that some people are <coughs> super keen to get their orders, but please, please do us a favour. I don't know how to put this nicely. Hang on, I'll think about it. If you order in a live feed or in Messenger or on the phone or in an email, if you haven't heard from us within twenty four hours, please don't. Please don't try a different avenue. We will come back to you. Give us at least three days because we had some lovely ladies last week that were just really, really worried that we didn't get their order. So they ordered in live comments and in an email or on the phone and in Messenger. Or oh, you are so lucky that Kate picked them up that we had doubles. If our memory is not that good, you could get your order twice. Just, I mean, some people like getting things twice, but not unless you mean it. So just be... Just be patient. Uh, today's Tuesday. If you haven't heard from us by tomorrow night, I think. Is Lisa King in tomorrow? Yeah, you and I are in. So. Sewing machine demos in the morning. Yes, yeah, so we'll be good. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, yeah. Thursday night latest, then, then hassle us, please. Then hassle us, but we'll try and get them all. So Kate is not going to write down your orders as we go. We're going to do all of those here at the end. Um, we're making these specials up as we go. Rob's home today and he's down the other end of the house and he's going to generate all of the invoice and then we're, we're good to go. So today we are going to learn all about making seminal borders. So if you haven't done this before, you're going to love it. And this was just the most fun thing to do with our ombres. Do you want it up, Kate, or do you want it overhead? Overhead? Is that oh right? yeah, you can do that. So can you see, oh yes, so this is a European sized cushion and I have cut up one of our beautiful uh, shank gelato ombres to go around. So you can see each side of position them so they go dark to light or blue to yellow. Yes, yes, Lisa has not sewn up the bottom yet. Emma gave me a pillow slip closure in the hope that would be quick enough because we reached the point when we haven't got time for a zip. We've just we've got to get it done, and it's a little bit puffy at the bottom. So I'm going to pop some press studs in, um, or some buttons afterwards. But I'll give you a close up here too. Yep. Oh, sorry, Kate. After everything she said to me, can you see that? So you've got little. We've done a big square of butterflies in the middle, and some little peekaboo squares down the bottom. So it is one big, essentially one big square. I'm going to take, oh no, I won't take it out, I'll leave it in. But that's that's essentially what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show it to you in three different colour ways. And I'm going to do a quick little demo for you on kickstarting off how to do these little pieced borders. And then each of these specials, which are going to be one, two and three, um, are the same price, with the same amount of fabric. It's just the colours are going to change. So I, I want to show you today pretty much all the specials first. Then we're going to come back and do the demo and then that gives you time to have a little bit of a think if you want to and then we'll just quickly run through them again. I think I think that's the best way to go. And if people don't want the specials, they want to learn the block, they can just run off and get a coffee now. And they can come back. They can come back, hang the washing, days. put the casserole in. Well, not that long. Well, this will be up for a day or two, won't it? Oh, this will be up till... This will go on YouTube. Till everything's sold out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on YouTube because it's a demo too, so... Yeah. I suppose we should say specials are available until 
It goes on YouTube. Whatever Sunday is. Till, till midnight Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Australian Mother's Day. Australian Mother's Day. Okay. So that's the question. Okay. So <laughs> our first special, as you would have guessed, is going to be... I'll just pop this aside for a minute. We won't have a pillow fight yet, Kate, because it's got pins in it. <laughs> so we're going to do this one where we lay down. So the Australian butterfly print in the cream and the ivory. And I ran with this one because it's going to give us that great contrast against the black for the background. Then this is the ombre that I chose to go with it. So this, to me, having designed this fabric is really exciting because it pulls up all of these blues through to the lime greens and the yellows all in the one bolt. And if you haven't seen the ombres before, they mirror image in the middle. And that's important to remember when we come back and do the demo. And then you're going to get a piece of black with it. So this pack has everything you need to make one of those large European cushions. It's going to have a generous amount. So Emma and I worked out you need about 85 centimetres and we've made it a metre because I want you to have a little bit of room to place your squares or cut your little fussy cut corner ones from. So a measure of this, the way that we're going to use the ombre, you only need 15 centimetres of the ombre. So that, that kind of then generous bit here, just what you need here and that'll be fine. And then 25 centimetres of the black that's going to be the background around your little Seminole border squares. All right. So that's special number one. And we're going to make this um, $35 for the pack with the pattern. So you'll get all of the instructions to make the cushion up. Um, I'll leave the closure to you. You'll have enough to do a pillowcase closure or a little fold over at the back if you want to and pop some buttons across. You might also be a zip girl, so you can pop a zip in. I'm going to leave that to you, but you're going to have everything that you need to make one of these large, these big boys in one pack. If you decide that you would like to make two, then when you order two, we will leave that yardage continuous for you. So you would get a two meter piece of this, you would get 30 centimeters of this, and you're also going to get half a meter. So if you buy in increments to make one, two or three cushions in the same color, we will cut it as one length for you. Some people having a problem with their Wi-Fi. Oh. I think it's all right for now. Do you think it's all right? Yeah. So if, so, all that we can see at our end is that our Wi-Fi is okay. Some of them are having trouble. So ours is, sort of we're looking at ours and it all looks fine. So we're so sorry if you're having trouble. Just remember, if you do have trouble today, we're gonna to upload this onto YouTube as well straight after we've done it live. So if you, if you miss bits of it today and it's frustrating you, you'll be able to watch it at about 3.30 this afternoon on the Lisa Chandler YouTube channel. So remember, I'm L -E -S -S -A Chandler, it'll be on there. Right, special number one. So, special number two. This morning, one of our little things was I decided we had to get one of these borders pieced to show you. So we're going to run with the blue and have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh dropped. Okay? In a tick, yeah. I just want to hold it up. Oh, that's lovely. There's a little trick. There is a little trick to getting this flow and the difference in the colour. So um, I'll show you that when we do the demo. So I'll lay those down. Kay wants to do me an overhead. Oh yes. So you can see I've kept these in order as they run through up here. And that's why you only need a little bit of this too, because you only need to cut two strips from the ombre because it mirror images. So you've got four of these that go around your cushion, two from the first cut and then two from the second. And you know, I'm, see this is kind of, this is not me, but then I see that and I go, oh yeah. Does that come with black as well? This comes with black as well. So you're going to have a metre of the butterflies. You're going to have uh, 15 centimeters of the ombre and 25 of the black and Natasha if you are watching you can blame Jane for this demo 
because Jane did Emma's Garden last week with the Seminole and I went, oh, could do it with the ombre. Okay, so that's number two. And that how much? Same, 35. And that will come with the pattern. And the last one is more subtle. So this is the one that I would like to have on my couch with um, southern jewels that we have as a kid at the moment in the pink and teal butterflies. I think this qu the quilt, we've got that up on the wall at work at the moment, haven't we? Um, this quilt, that quilt would look really nice with this cushion. So if you give me the overhead, Kate. Okay. So this is more subtle. The other two shade through different colours. So if I set that next to this. So this one goes from blue through to pink and the other one goes right through from blue, green and yellow. This is getting arty here, girls, monochromatic. So this is just going to shade from this dark teal ever so delicately right up to the pale. And I'm sure that you can see why I chose this one because this is going to bring out that lovely teal blue that took me many hours of tears and a Pantone reference book to get where I wanted it to be. So this to me is just lovely to pull up all of these colours in here. And remember that trick, won't you, that whenever you're playing with fabrics that you want that subtle shade, remember to pull out your the selvage on the side. I'll just do a close-up on that, Miss Kate. Remember this little selvage, yeah, on here. So you've got all of these colours and that shows you all of the screen colours that I've used in the fabric. So if you really wanted to be pedantic about making sure that you've got the light, dark and medium teals, you can see them there that I've, or maybe just, I've pulled up those three in that ombre fabric. So this one is going to be special number three. Again, you're going to have a meter of the pink and teal butterflies um, with 15 of this ombre and also 25 of the black. Hey, did we turn the heating off? Excuse me, I'm just checking. Mm -hmm. I put the heating on when we got home because it was freezing. Yeah, it's off. It's just the coffee. Now you really do know we're in the house. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come back and demonstrate with this one in a minute. Julian said, Jill said, if I ordered different, two different colorways, then I only need one pattern. Is that possible or will they each be 30, 35? They're all 35. So I understand what Jill's saying. Is it, any, is it any different if you just order, if you order more and you only need one pattern? So Jill, the way that I've worked it is it's a free pattern. And it just comes with the kit. I'm never going to publish it separately. It's just the live shows. And of course, I will pop it up on a Quilters Life for the girls so they can print it out if they want to. So Quilters Life girls just, they get all their patterns like this um, in their club um, on that website. But no, it's just a, it's just a freebie printout. And the value of the fabric I came, I think came to about 36. So it's, it's a freebie. Um, but you know what? No stress for us. We're more than happy to just uh, print out the copies and throw them in each packet. No biggie, is it? No. No biggie. Right, so you'd like to know what number two is, uh, number four is, wouldn't you? So this week I am introducing, drum roll, thank you, that was the most <laughs> perfect partners, Kate. <laughs> we are introducing perfect partners. I should say, like me and Rob, just in case he's watching from the other end of the house. Um, so what this is about, so many of you say it's so hard to choose fabrics that go together on the website. And we, we totally understand that. And given that, if I did the stats, 90% of our beautiful customers have never seen our warehouse shop or studio. They live a long, long way away. Don't they, Hazel? <laughs> so don't they Ruth? So it's really hard sometimes to choose things that go together and then to have them in your stash ready to use with different things. So this is what Perfect Partners is about. It's not actually always going to be about fabric. It might be about 
haberdashery or templates or a template and a fabric that go together so that I'm taking that guesswork out for you if you do order from us online or during the shows. With each of these, the way it's going to, going to go is I will show them to you first on a live. If you like them and you buy them and there's nothing left, no one will ever know. They will have been on a live. They'll never make it to a website. If there's any left over, they will get split. It'll be a divorce, no longer perfect partners, and they will go up as separate fabrics on our website. So this is your opportunity to see what works well together. Um, and if you like them, that's great. So yesterday, oh, the best day, the best day, out with uh, Margaret Upston from Margaret's Fabrics. We kind of did a bit of a Thelma and Louise, not quite. We left Kate for the day. <laughs> she had to do stuff on her own at the warehouse. And we were doing secret patchwork designer business stuff. But we also visited a couple of our um, valued suppliers and I bought a couple of things home and then I could match them up with other things that had come in from America uh, yesterday while I was out and also last week. So the first perfect partners I'm going to show you is one example where it is the same design but in different colours that do go well together. They are really yummy. And I, I will be honest, these came in a range of, are they who I think they are? Um, they came in a range with, with motives and things that they're not really, well, they, I don't think they're us. So I, I just bought the coordinates and they do, can you want to do an overhead for me, Kate? Because look at those. Just sticking with our teal and purple theme for a minute. Look at that. So these are beautiful quality Benetix fabrics um, and, and lovely gold, lovely fabric stock. I'm really impressed with where Benetix have gone with their fabric quality. And I, I say that as a patchworker and also as a, a fabric converter, if I use the uh, official term. You know what I've just realised? Sorry, this is special number four, got sidetracked. So these, I'm going to set these up. They're going to be a half metre cut of each. I'm not going to do fat quarters for you because honestly, if you're going to commit to a pair that works so well together, I think you're going to want half a metre. And when you see some of the other ones that I do, you'll, we're going to get to the point where you might use them to make a bag. So I really want to do these as half metres. So when these guys get split up, they're going to go on the website as $26 a metre each. But if you buy them as a perfect partner set, you're going to get half a metre of each for $20. So it's a massive advantage and I've taken that risk factor out for you of whether they go together or not. But Should you do a close-up of the shimmer? Because they can't really see the They can't see the shimmer, I know. But just, just, just before I do, I've just gone, oh hello! Didn't plan that. I did not plan that. Wow. That's pretty good. All right. So you want a close-up, Kate? I should do a little bit of a close-up. Yeah. So can you, can you see what I mean? They're like mine. May I say that? <laughs> they're just, they're lovely. And this gold just gives them a lovely, lovely shine. And, and you've got... Can you just go back? Oh, Kate's giving directions. It's just like trying to teach me how to back a trailer, Kate. It's just not going to happen. Well, it has to. Let me, let me, okay, so see, this is what I mean, everyone. See that, see that there? So you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, six shades of purple. So they are a true blender. Um, my rule of thumb Oops. is anything over six or more shades of the same colour is Lisa Chandler's rule of thumb for a good blender. Anything under that. I'm a bit of a blender snob. You kind of have to be in this Kind of have to be. So that's number four. Purple teal. Purple teal. $20 for a half metre of each as perfect partners. I do, I do like that. Do, do, do. If you buy that pack, oh, that was me. Ah. <laughs> that, that, that is going to go with those as well. Wow. Okay. Does that we'll fabric closer. come in a bright pink? Vicky asks. Vicky, I I don't remember, but I only bought those two. 
So I would love to say yes to a bright pink, but I no. I don't think it did in that range either. I have four hour shoes on and it's been about six hours, so they've got to come off. Special number five is also a perfect partner. And this I got a bit excited about because I bought this yesterday when I was out and then I came home and this had arrived. Now, I want you to think of this as, think more like a bag with these, please. And the reason is, oh, it's just, it's, it's screaming winter handbag. This is, close up please, Miss Kate. This is a beautiful Japanese seven berry fabric and it is a heavier weight. So, oh, Kate's going to say I can't go that close. It's just a slightly heavier weight. It's not like sewing through a denim. It's more like a linen weave. It's not going to be any different for you when you're sewing it together with a cotton fabric, but it is just beautiful. And I love the feel of it. Um, and to me, it is the perfect thing to use at the base of a bag and then to have your, have your feature print on top. So if I, I'm gonna try and do this for you with the overhead. There we go. Actually, let's let's just rearrange myself here. So if that was the top of my bag, and have a think about um, summertime tote, you know, the free downloads that we've done, the wraparound base and sides that we have done in bag design on my YouTube channel, go and have a look at that. This to me is perfect. So if you had a third, say a third of the base of the bag in that blue, and then that's the top of your bag. And then you would also use the blue for your base and your straps. So, and you're going to have, you know, enough to make a really generous sized bag. You might need just a little bit of a cream, you know, to help with your lining, but that's gonna give you a meter of fabric to get you well on the way to a really nice handbag. So these are our perfect partners, Miss Kate. Perfect part pack. Number five. Number five. Are we on five? So two half meters again? Yes, yeah, so we're going to do half meter of each. And I have my main screen back. <laughs> so, um, and this, so this is one of these stories where this will go up on the website. Uh, it has other friends that have come with it. It's got little um, blossoms that have come in with it in different colors. So it will go up on the website with those. It'll be in the next newsletter, but for now, half a meter of each with this beautiful fabric here it's lovely uh, for twenty dollars and then they'll both go up at 26 each i do like they do come with some nice ones once they get released as well yes the other three they were lovely. yeah they were really nice weren't they yeah so once they get released it'll be nice <laughs> gee i I have no words. I have no words. This is how new they are. I haven't even taken it out of the wrap yet. But, oh my. You know what? I just, um, th this, this is one of these things where you think, no, nah, will I? Won't I? And I really, I have to sometimes take a little bit of a pun because you know that I am, um, a complete snob with fabric. You know I'm a quilt gate, I'm a timeless treasures, a Benetix, a Robert Hoffman, um, Hoffman for batiks. Sometimes, oh, we've been having a few really nice Hoffmans come through. But then I go, oh, do I change fabric companies? Do I? Do I? And I thought, you know, I just, I have to give it a go. Now, this gold, and these are just, these are beautiful. This gold on here, I'll show you them together first. They are slightly different prints. So this one is a little bit more sagey green and this one is more of a bluey green. But to me, in the same project, if you run them through with a really nice chocolate brown or a coffee cream, they are going to work together. And my other thought with this is, outside of bag, wow, inside of bag. So we'll do a little closer up. Go. So these are just beautiful. And the difference, Kate's directing me again. You'd be really good in road traffic direction, Kate. I was going to do that if you didn't hire me. 
Where are you now? You need to talk to Sarah about that. Emma's daughter. Um, so, the difference, the difference between the gold on these, and this is why I was like, wow. I'm going to talk to my guys about doing this. The difference between this gold and the gold on mine is that this one genuinely glitters. It has, it is a glitter. It does not come off, but it is like a speckled glitter. And I think it's quite amazing. So, yeah, so we're running them as perfect partners. And as I said, I would really suggest inside and out. <laughs> So there's a dodgy connection on the power board, yeah, underneath my feet, and every time I step backwards. It's scary. It's a bit scary. Um, right. I have one more and heavy that, partner. That's two half, half metre of cut. each. Yeah, two half metre cuts, twenty dollars. Great. Got that? I sure do. Great. Now we're gonna go we're going off kilter now. We're going somewhere else. Imperfect partners. <laughs> this, you, you, me, you, it's not me, are very, very lucky that I am mates with Margaret. And uh, you know what, I could have I could have sold you a story today. Uh, I could have made it up, <laughs> which I threatened to do to Natasha on my podcast. <laughs> Pick up a story about myself. But I promised um, that I would tell the truth, and I'm going to. So Margaret had planned some beautiful, beautiful projects to be launched at the Australasian Quilt Convention last year. And we're still waiting for that major event to happen. I think, I think we're on for August. So with that, she had all of these beautiful haberdashery pieces brought in or purposely made ready to use for the show. Now she's been designing, as you know, all of this amazing needlework, embroidery and everything. And some of the projects never got off the ground that she planned for AQC. So she said, well, why don't I give you some of these happy products and you can do them um, for your ladies on your live show at a special price? I said, sure. <laughs> so I'm not going to take the credit for these. Um, Margaret is... And so what she's given us, and I'm, I'm kind of freaking out over the price just a little bit. If you are a paper piecing person, you're going to know the value of this is really, really good. So it's a special number. I've lost count. Eight. Eight. Seven. 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 Oh, I was going to say, I lost one. All right, close up, Kate. So we have got really, really good quality. The So Easy brand of hexagons. These are two and a half inch sides, so they're very generously sized. Um, I'll get my little ruler so that you can see what I mean. My cracked ruler, oh, that's even better. Those that bought our heavy pack last week, they'll be going, Lisa, where's your four inch one we've all got? So these are two and a half inch sides, and if I go point to point, they're five, side to side, they're four and a quarter, if that gives you a little idea. So you're going to get a pack of none less than a hundred of these, a hundred. And lo and behold, your matching template with the quarter inch seam on it. Look at that. I'm not moving it, Kate. Mm -hmm. Am I moving it? No, no, there you go. So you're gonna get these together. And um, I know how much these were, and I know how much these are. And that whole thing is ten dollars <laughs> for the whole lot. Why are you so now, nice? Do you, you know how much these are? No. Why are you being so nice? <laughs> it's not me. It's Margaret. 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 What a woman. We love Margaret. Anyway, it comes in its own little pack. So that's ten dollars for those two. So that's the big one. Oh, I nearly said. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I nearly said it. And then we've got the smaller one. So again, these are now two inches, so they're two inches on the side. Close up, Miss Darling. Ah! Just turn up, she hates that. Okay, there you mm -hmm. go. So they're four and a half point to point. Um, I'll measure for you side to side. They are just under four, um, three and seven eighths, and then their sides are two. Oh, I'm measuring the wrong way, two. I went to the template, what a wally. Three and a half side to side. 
four point to point, there you go, straight across there, and then the whole thing is four and a half across. So, nine dollars. So you get a hundred of these and the template. Your templates are usually, the templates are usually about six, six fifty each. This is seven dollars worth, nine dollars. We've got ten of each. I should, I do know what we've got. We've got ten sets of each. So I'll run through those later. And then, not to be outdone, we sold out with our heavy packs of our glue pens last week. We sure did. Margaret was prepared and came to the rescue. So we've got glue pens back in. Still haven't put them online. Um, these, I think, are usually about 12. I can't remember. But today, they are nine. So we've got those as well. So you're going to need that, of course with these and and I would you've got two choices with these because they're getting a lot bigger than what you can just turn over with a single tack the way that I've shown you to do them in the past um, or in the applique club you're either going to need to tack through your paper or you're going to glue so um, that's a good idea and it's got a little it's got a refill in there too so you get the first one and then a refill for it so that's number nine that is number nine for the glue pens at Nine dollars. Nine dollars each. Nine fifty or nine dollars. Nine dollars. Not doing the fifty cents today. My brain's not up to the fifty cents. Okay. Two more quick specials, and then we're going to do our demo. And right. then we have to run through it because Ruth missed them. She Ruthie had to nip missed out for a second. Ruthie had to go, so we're going to redo the whole thing. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. So this one I grabbed yesterday, and let me just see who are we. We are seven berry. It is gorgeous, gorgeous little flowers and tamari balls on a lovely, lovely dark navy background. It's hard to get the navy sometimes. It is outlined, outlined in gold. It is made in Japan. It is seven berry. So it is a lovely quality. I only grabbed eight meters of this. That's all there was to grab. And this one is $16 a metre. So grab some if you'd like it. I actually think that would look really, really nice if you had some thanks, Kate, sashiko, sash, sashiko panels on blue to put it with. I think that would be a lovely backing or a lining on a sashiko bag. So what would you call that? You can say tamari. Do you know what tamari ball is? I know it's a, um, a food. <laughs> A tamari ball is a beautiful ancient Japanese art. I'll show you on Instagram later where they cover balls with string and patterns. Uh, no, I don't know what they are, but I was just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're just hungry. I'm always hungry. You're always hungry. All right, and then the last special to some may be the most boring one of the day, but to others it'll be yes, because we have so many back orders for this fabric. And I have left two thumping bolts of this at home to, uh, to fill our back orders and then use some for a new project, just a little bit. But this is Robert Kaufman 5573 Eggshell. So for those of you who've been waiting since just after Christmas, they finally printed and we've got it. Now, why is this fabric so popular? I'm glad you asked that question, Kate. <laughs> it was... The fabric, when I had our little shop in Beaumaris, the fabric we sold the most of. It is um, the fabric that I I am going to use, pretty sure, as the background for my, you know what I'm going to say, Madam Butterfly, next block of the oh, month. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. No, no, no. <laughs> it is just the most classic background fabric so I'll give you a close-up of it I don't even know can we can they see can it a little bit close up please you want close yeah. there you go can you ah oh, there we go it is lighter it, yeah it's lighter than what you can see can, oh yes because I do not have that suntan <laughs> so it's just it is a cream it's warm it shades down into an echo pattern in the palest yellow cream back out to this caramel cream. It is Robert Kaufman's biggest selling 
of all time uh, coordinate and definitely the most popular in their Robert Kaufman Fusions range. So when I started designing with Kaufman, this was the background that we used any time I needed a plane to go with under the Australian sun 11 years ago. So that's how long it's been going. And I don't think today anything really has come close to it. So yeah, so I've got people that have been waiting on it to come in. I'm going to fill their orders. We're going to set the first lot aside to do the sample quilt with. And then I've bought a bolt um, home if you would like some. This one has, where well, I do my maths, 15 metres on it. So it's a big chunk. Um, now this is $26 a metre. It's the same as mine, but uh, I don't think that's fair. It's a live show. We just don't do that on a live show. Um, so anyone that has a back order in, you're going to get this for $21.50. And if anyone would like some today, it's $21.50. I will get Rob to put it back up on the website tonight. Even when we've got any left and it will be $26. So if you'd like to order some, you are most welcome to. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Certainly if you've got some of my, particularly my Outback colours under the Australian sun, this is a good go to to go with that. So... Which number was that, Kate? Eleven. Eleven! We got to eleven, just like that. All right, let me find today's instructions for this here cushion border. <laughs> Would you like to see? Go, just show them. This is this is the magic happens after the show. Look at that. Can you see? Look at all the writing on that. See all that? <laughs> so it will be a miracle if I pull this off. Now, which one will we use? I, I was going to use the really subtle one, but I think for the purposes of showing you, we uh, we might go back to the bright one. Okay. Because this, this is a, this is it. All right, we can go to the overhead and we are good to go. So, in the, uh, in the instructions, you're going to get uh, a block, a dimensions of your butterfly fabric. So you're going to cut your butterfly fabric uh, a smaller square for the front of your cushion that's got the border on it, and then there'll be a back, a big square for the back. And as I said, if you wish to add in a zip, if you want to put in a little pillow slip flap, if you want to do a fold over with buttons in the middle of the back, I'm going to leave that up to you, and you are going to have enough fabric uh, in your pack to be able to do a little turnover at any stage if you wish to. So you're going to get this much fabric. I've got to go up a bit. There you go. You're going to get this much fabric, only that. And you'll go, she's really stingy, really stingy. But I'm going to show you why. So we need to cut, I can't even read my, oh yes I can, two two and a half inch strips. You know what, you're not going to believe me. Let me just cut this off. That blade sounds mm. shocking. What did you do to my blade, Kate? Yeah, all my fault. Sorry. All your fault. All right, so we're going to cut two two and a half inch strips. Just remember, I'm left handed. So please, if you are right handed, you will be on this side and you'll be cutting up there. All right. Okay, have you worked out the technology yet to flip the screen? <laughs> so I'm um, right-handed. In, in editing now. We can do it in editing, can't we? Yes. Do you have this one? Yeah, can I just... I love my Kai rotary cutter. I do, I do love these. If anyone wants a good rotary cutter, just email me or message me. This is my favourite and it's my go-to because it's got... The, I mean, I know there are literally hundreds on the market. Being a lefty, working in a right-handed business, everyone gets to use the rotary cutters, but I do like this one because it's got the retractable blade and that is just super good. It is very good. And it's safe and you can lock it so it's not on and it will work. It's got a setting for uh, light and heavy fabrics. So if you're cutting denims or oh, polar fleece yeah. or any of that stuff. All right. Sorry, lecture for the day. Let me put that back there. So, once you've cut these two, I want you to turn them onto their sides. And you will need to cut seven two and a half inch squares. So, I don't bother. Just 
turn that over so I don't miss the end. I don't bother um, worrying about separating these out. I'll just cut them all in one go because then I'm going to get a set of four of each of my squares in colours as they run up. And if I line these two up together, I know that all of my squares are going to be the same. But here's the thing, you've got two options here and I will put this in the pattern for you. If I just went through and cut at two and a half, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm not going to get the whole expanse of the colour variation in the ombre. So one option is, is to kind of start at this end and you'll get more blue to green or start at this end and get more of this tealy colour through to the orange. Option number three is what I did, and it's a little bit wasteful, but I have found a use for the leftovers. So I have cut mine, cut, cut my cell ridges off, and I will cut my first set of two and a half. And if you have a look at these, keep them together, because they're all the same colour from both strips, and make sure you keep the line of the pattern the same too, so that when you make them up, they're all going to look the same. I don't know what I've done with the strip cake, the strip, there it is. <laughs> so on this strip here, we were really careful to keep those little lines in the pattern all going the same way and dark to light, dark to light, dark to light as it progressed through the bolt. So if you do trim off a little bit like this, keep that because it's a good reference to have when you come, if your blocks all get messed up by a cat or somebody else, you can come through and use that little strip you've cut off as a guide for where they sit. So that's my first set. Then I got naughty because I want as much of this variation and I've got more than I need. I was naughty and I trimmed off half an inch. So I'm creating a little gap in between each of my pieces. Uh, you might go, Lisa, that is just criminal, but it meant for me that I got all of the variation. And, you know, with this particular colour, yeah, sure, I could probably move with a, out a little bit of that yellow at the end. But in particular, when you cut from this monochromatic one so if you have decided to run with this bolt or this color combination this is going to be really good because it's a more of a gradual change having a little bit of a step or a jump in between each of your squares on this one is going to be really good right, just put this one in here have i cut yet oh <gasps> i don't think i have Mm. Right, I'm going to take off half. One. I'm not talking now, I'm going to concentrate and get to the end. Maths is hard. Okay, maths, maths is not hard, it's just not your strong point. We have discussed this. Like, uh, <laughs> ouch. Ouch. <laughs> But she goes, I can't add up. I can. It just takes me a bit. All right. <laughs> you have other strengths. I do. That's why you keep me around. <laughs> <laughs> like operating live show cameras. Yeah. That. There you go. So you can see what I've done. There's just, I've chopped that. And if you, if you want to look at this, in the scheme of things, is that a lot of waste? No. What are you going to do with it? Well, I was thinking this morning... Can I have my screen back instead of texting during... She's unreal. Um, oh, you know what I've stopped doing? I've stopped doing the drop-off at the kindergarten. Last year, lockdown, I got out of the habit. And she's looking at me. So, from when the boys were little, I always used to collect all of my scraps, put them in a bag, and I would drop them off at Philip and Stephen's kindergarten. What for? Cut and paste. Uh -oh. Cut and paste. Because there are not many young mums in that particular generation that patchwork or have a lot of fabric around. And I do know some young mums actually go to Spotlight and buy 25 centimetre cuts to chop up for the kids. And the kids get bored with it because it's all the same 
fabric so this is what you do stuff like this they love it because they can mix it up with foil and ribbon and all those leftovers and bits of lace and buttons you don't want and and then with uh, colored paper as well so I'm going to go back you know, just they love all these bits if you're not into making confetti quilts and stuff they're too the small salvages. for anything sorry not the salvages yeah, the salvages it's not my name on that so no. they can have that one all right so if we have a look at those on the overhead again there you go so they are all going to stay in that order and if I'm going to be really smart and paste these through I will try and do them all at once because it does uh, it does make life easier to make sure you've got them all in the right order so you can see that there I've turned them all the same way dark to light dark to light or green and they all follow through like that now you're going to cut from your uh, black I'm not going to make it up you're going to cut 10 4 8 10 4 and 1 8 squares and you're going to cut them diagonally twice and it's going to produce 40 of these little guys. That's Emma Bowman, sorry. Oh, Emma's texting us. <laughs> we better see what she wants. Yeah, see what she wants. As long as she hasn't decided to um, pack it in for the day and <laughs> leave. She could be telling us there's an exciting delivery. I'm just going to lay one of these out, everyone. Oh, not there. Oh, <laughs> where you put a thumbs up? Yes. She said, sorry, that was meant to be a question. What's the question? I don't know. It was from a while ago. Oh, okay. I'm, I don't know. Was it today? Well, she just replied, but you haven't talked since the 27th of April. <laughs> no <laughs> so idea what she's doing. <laughs> she's just reminding us that she's at work. Yes. Digital. I'm just mucking around here now. I'm just trying to be neat because I know there are people watching. <clears throat> there we go. So here's the irony. I'm, I'm going to tell you a little story. <laughs> um, Emma's Garden is a lovely uh, quilt that uh, we designed that's got uh, seminal sashing, which is this is what this is called diamond sashing. In between big blocks of one of my and the Australian sun florals and uh, Natasha said oh we might run that pattern and Jane's gonna make up the quilt went fantastic so they went and made it with the butterflies and it looked it looked amazing I was oh wow I was like can I have that now can I have that back um, <laughs> but Jane picked up and may I say no one else told us that we had put in the diagram one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I have the front on? But how how big are the black squares again? One. Four and an eight. But Emma's garden only has five squares in the border. <sighs> no one said anything. So I thought, well, it's only just that I go back and do a square with seven. All right. Then uh, you're going to cut some two and three eighths. No, wait, I'm making that up. No, I'm not. Two and three eighths uh, squares for the end. So they're your big triangles. Um, oh, for those of you that have your little four inch rulers from our Happy Pack last week, yep, don't know where mine is. It's it's gone AWOL. I hope it didn't end up in someone's pack and I now don't have one. There's one left in the... Is there one left at work? A singular one. One. Yep, because I put it on the in a rack today. One. Singular. Well... It's all yours, Lisa. So <laughs> can't even... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm just trying to make sense of that. There we go. Right. Two and three eighths. Let me just check this way, and we're good. So these little ones here are going to go on the end. So you cut these down, and then you only cut them once on the diagonal. Now, I do, I do think it's important to have a little bit of a respect for 
the old uh, Seminole border when you get a pattern make sure that it has been set up I'm going to put these together for you to show you make sure it's been set up so that the straight edges are where you need them so we don't just cut triangles this is the this is the clever bit here this is the four and one eight square that you're going to cut and then you cross cut it diagonally into four triangles so this is your straight grain here and these are your cross grains. This is really important. A well-written seminal border pattern will have this straight edge and it will sit there so that when you piece all of this together, this is not going to stretch. If that was just cut on the bias, that would be hard yakka. So if you are designing your own, just please, please keep that in mind. You want to do these with triangles that have been diagonally cut down from uh, a square and then these ones that are down the end these were a full square like this then they've been cut these are my straight edges around the edge on the ends and that also means it's going to be easier to keep it stable as you're piecing it so I'm pretty sure that you can see how this is going to work now um, you will come through and I've got the diagram in the pattern for you as well. You're going to come through and piece a triangle onto here and a triangle onto here, one onto here. I could sit here and do this for you, but I know you get it and you're going to get terribly bored if I do that. So this is how it goes together and the diagrams in our little pattern as well for this. So once these are together, you're always, do me a favour, always um, Iron your seam allowances out towards the triangles if you're going to use this sort of fabric and this is black and you're going to get it to sit really nice you can fold them inwards and you would do that if this is a dark color and you're using a really light background it's fine it, you just have to work that little bit harder to get your seams to press really nicely so all of these go together in a diagonal and then you come back and add your little shorter triangles on to the end when you see the pattern, uh, you're going to see that why are we working in these weird measurements, one, four and one eighth, two and three eighths, and then it's three and three eighths across. You're going to have all these strange measurements. It's because we start with a really nice straight two and a half inch square for all these bits that we've actually pasted in. So we started with these at two and a half and then it made these more complicated. It, you get it one way or the other. Question? What thread colour would you use? Sorry? What thread, thread colour? Oh, okay, so thread colour with these, I would definitely use black if you're doing this combination because you're going to be, most of what you're gonna be sewing is attached to a black. Then what, uh, I think what Em did with the cushion, once she did, wait, once she did have, because we did it quick this morning, once she did have all of these, uh, once these were all pieced, I gave her these pieced, and when she sewed them in, she then went to a cream so she could use the cream for the front and then to piece the whole uh, cushion with the walking foot on, of course, at the end. We put, we put iron-on pallen on these just to give them a little bit more body. Um, you can go through and quilt them. There's no reason why you can't use some quiz, squares of your scraps of uh, quilting batten, batting and actually quilt them up. And I think... From a quilting point of view, um, I'll just put that a bit closer. Have some fun with it, all right? So don't just go all over. If you can take your time with your walking foot, it's not too big. If you've got a, you know, a throat on your machine, in Bonita terms, at least a four seven five. But if if you've got a decent throat, put the walking foot on and take your time. Come around the edge of your butterflies. But what you can also do is follow the wing line out. So if you came out here, you could keep the wing line going and take it, just follow a curve, use a plate or a saucer and take that curve up into your seminal border. And you could do that here, take the spike and take him down. So you can, you can have a little bit of a play. Um, you can make your life as easy or as difficult, can I have that back, as you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, as you like with your seminal border. Um, you can just leave it as we've done with this one 
you could come through and just do a little curved line through all of these if you're a free motion quilter like me and you love to do it you could draw on some little butterflies in there and take them down entirely up to you what you want to do um, but we just made it up with an iron on palinets it's, it's kind of nice. cool isn't it it's quite nice, it's quite nice. so uh, I hope that gives you a good idea. So we'll just go back, Kate, we'll have a look at this again over the top. So if I piece all those together, this is the effect that I'm going to get. So you can see that one's going to run through from pink to blue, and I'm going to finish these off because I'm really quite keen to have two matching cushions now. So now that I've, now that I've started that one, I'm going to finish it. Do you like that? Yep. All right. Good. We, no, we don't need to paste them. But I'm sure. I'm sure everyone gets it. Um, as I said, the pattern will it will have a picture of the cushion, and uh, it'll have instructions to make one up. And of course, then you can make as many as you like after that with whatever you've got in the cupboard. The ombres are fantastic, but here's the thing: if you've got half a meter, for example, of my fabric or anyone else's in the cupboard, and lots and lots of scraps left over, then that's you know you can use that for the front and back of your cushion. Then you can use all your scraps for the little squares. You can have a great time just messing around and kind of treating it like a scrappy, a scrappy project. I please, please want you to also remember that if you've got a pattern like um, Twisted Knitting Bag in Melbourne, anything like that, run that along the front of your bag and then have a feature fabric top and bottom. Remember the Twisted Knitting Bag and it's got the twists here? Well, you could have that there instead with a feature fabric top and bottom. You nice. could use your pack for that. <laughs> there are no rules. Barb asks if we are doing the quilt behind you at some stage. Oh, see, I knew if I hung that quilt, someone had asked. So, Barbara, to answer your question, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> um, the quilt, Barb's just asked about the quilt on the wall. When... Um, when I had done the applique sampler, which we're in the middle of, started the club now, I shouldn't say the middle yet, I'm in the middle, everyone else is cool. still going. Um, then when I'd finished that, I also wanted to go back and do a quilt to, to uh, teach a lot of different techniques or explain them for piecing. So this one's more piecing focused. It does double up on some of the things in the applique sampler. So it has some, where am I going? Paper piecing. I think these are paper pieced. Where are all my, oh, these are paper pieced over here. Um, we've got dressed and plates, so pieced and appliqued on, curved piecing, bias, drunkard's path, bias work, pieced, foundation, found, no foundation. So there's lots of different piecing techniques. This was a brief pastel stage. <laughs> um, so, yes, I want to do it again, but I'm going to, again, I'll change it and I'll sort of bring it more up to um, scope and I actually think I'm going to do it in batiks which will be really different strong plums and olive greens and things on a really nice coffee cream background yeah. Yeah, you're that, in yeah that'd be nice so that's that's my plan uh for this one and so we'll go back you can't see all of it hang on you guys can't see this bit you see my big this is my big allium what was it like a chive head chive flower down the bottom I don't know, you said you remember. So the story with this quilt, when, whenever I teach Suffolk Puffs and I'm filling in time, I talk about this quilt because uh, when I'd finished it, a girlfriend said, you should put it, you should put it in the Melbourne show. And I went, oh, I can't be bothered. So it went in the Melbourne showcase. But uh, before I put it in, when I had finished it, I left my errors because I wanted to show everyone the, the mistakes that I had made, whether it be which way to iron your um, seam allowances, all those sorts of things. And I wanted to use it as a teaching quilt. Then when we decided to put it in the show, I had to hide all of my bad seams. So all the scraps left over from the feature print, I started making all my little cherry blossoms. Um, the girls are making those this month. So all my little cherry blossoms. And I made about 20 and put them on the quilt and all the dodgy seams. And then when I stood back and looked, all of the flowers were up one side of the quilt. So I had to go back and make another 20 or so and put them over perfectly good seams down the other end of the quilt so it looked like I had embellished on purpose. Um, it got a judge's commendation, which was lovely, for the embellishment, not for the design, not for the piecing, not for the colours chosen, for the flipping. 
cherry blossoms on top. Question? Um, how much would a cutter be? How much is a, a cutter? Oh, a new cutter? Yes. They're 45. These babies? We'll double check anyway. We will double check. We'll, I'll add it Maybe, to the comments. Well, let's do it next week. Sure. Well, next week. I'll come back with two or three different options on cutters next week for you. How about that? Yeah. Because there's a bit of there's some other toys next week. Yes. Um, and one more after. Um, um, do you have a purple ombre to substitute for the teal pink one? You know I do. Of course I do. Rosemary cream. Rosemary cream would like a purple ombre. Make a note of that. Uh, yes, Rosemary, if you would like a monochromatic purple ombre, you know I'll do that for you. That's fine. Um, so, yes, everyone knows you're not replying yet to orders, don't they? You can mention it again. <laughs> you will come back. Do you, I'm just going to sort this out with the specials again. Do you want to show everyone how they order? Have you got that on your screen? Somewhere ahead. Look at that. Okay, so pop that up for me. So if you would like to order and you haven't ordered from us before, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Chandler's Cottage. Um, you can put a comment in the live feed and Kate and I go back and capture all of those this afternoon. You can order through Messenger, which is one of our preferred methods just in case anything goes wrong with Facebook and we lose this live feed. In the next couple of days, it means that we have captured you and we don't lose you. Or you can email us at info at chandlerscottage.com. If you're feeling a little cheeky, you can give Emma a call now, knowing that Kate and I won't be back there till about 3.30 or so. <laughs> what? What's the time? I have no idea. Yeah, about 3.30. About 3.30 or so. So you can ring Emma and the number is, if you don't know already, it's 039-587-3958. I ate my salad sandwich too quick today. So all of those options are open to you. Uh, again, in the combo with the sale, please, please forgive us if we've doubled up, missed something with us in the club and stuff. We hope we've got everything, don't we? We thought today maybe we hadn't, just just for a little moment. Oh, she's screwing her nose up at me. Okay, don't mention the wallace. <laughs> all right, so we do overheads for these. Sure. I think I'm good. Special number one was $35 and it was a metre of this butterfly print with its matching ombre uh, with 15 centimetres of this and 25 of Maywood Studio Black Magic. So all of that together is $35 plus we're going to pop in the pattern for the cushion for you as well so you can create your own lovely Seminole borders. So I will leave the black out uh, for the next one. Special number two. Oh, Lordy Lord, I've just seen Mum's cushion fabric for Mother's Day and it's already Tuesday, right? Um, here's... <laughs> you know what I'm doing tonight. Oh, someone did ask before if they could substitute for the blue pack that you've got next, if they could add the blue butterflies instead of the ivory butterflies as well. Oh, so they want to put... The blue butterflies in that blue pack. Yeah, if, if, if you really want to mess around with the colours, probably... The best thing to do is to, I would email, yeah. I would definitely email because then you've got a little bit of scope and um, you can explain well what you'd like. Just please, please remember everybody to pop your phone number in somewhere for us, even if you've ordered before. That is a genie, but this is why this bit of black stays at home with me. Okay, so number two, purple blue butterflies. Jimmy's everywhere. Jimmy's everywhere. She hasn't been in No, she hasn't been today and that's because Rob's home. Ah. Uh. Not as low, but <laughs> <laughs> I would tell everyone what Rob did last week if he wasn't up the other end and he could hear me. But let's just say he's uh he's home. He played hockey last Monday night and he's got a leg up on a chair. And I'm just I'm just putting that out there. <sighs> <sighs> so and why is that funny, Kate? Just no, why are you laughing? <laughs> Put me back on front screen. You know, <laughs> you know why she's laughing? <laughs> Because who else is having surgery on their calf <laughs> on Thursday? Two days. <laughs> Both of us. And the kids have moved out. So. And the kids have moved out. But yeah. mum and dad have come. No, but Phil's home. Who's Phil looking after you both? Phil's taking me for my... <laughs> <laughs> what a nice son. <laughs> hey, did you know, Kate, fun fact, that if you have deep veins, varicose veins, oh, gosh. 
and I genetically inherited mine from my beautiful late grandmother and my gorgeous mother. So I've had both legs stripped twice. At the age of 53, twice, both legs done already. And they do come back. The last time around, <laughs> Celia had a really good go. Best, best vascular surgeon, Celia Clifford. Had a really good crack at making sure I never had to go back. So she went deep, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> deep, vein, deep vein surgery. So not just the surface ones. She went in and got the big ones at the back of your calves. And they can't sew those, they clip them. I don't remember post-op that she told me that, um, but I got all go-go with the fitness over Christmas and I've managed to dislodge one and it's worked its way up <laughs> to the surface. You've unclipped it. <laughs> so it's got to come out because it's driving me nuts, it's itchy. Oh, so it. so Rob and I, cripples together. He's right leg though, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> I just know it's a one leg. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's the same leg. Both legs. Yeah. Same. We're going to have on the couch with our legs up with a TV dinner tray on our lap <laughs> for the weekend. Microwave meals. It's really bad when your mum has to bring your mother's lunch. <laughs> right. So anyway, there you go. That was special number two. A metre, 15 and 25. <laughs> $35. Needless to say. There will be a lot of uh, personal vlogs and blogs on a quilter's life on the weekend when I need to purge. And um, I will be so up to date with hand sewing. But I will be here next week. We, we are going to do live next week, aren't we? Oh yeah, and M can't work next week. So we'll be live uh, from, the, from the warehouse, from the studio next week. And it will be a big surprise for anyone that comes in <laughs> while we're live. Right. Phil's off. He could come and man the shop. It's only for a short time. All right, here we go. Special number three, one, 15 and 25. Now, as, as we've just discussed, a few special requests with mixing up colours, that's perfectly fine. But uh, what I need you to do is just email us the changes you'd like to make with your phone number and we'll be in touch. I'm not going to lie. We might put you in the too hard basket. No, it's not a too. It's a it's a special request basket, <laughs> and and it may take us a little longer to get to special requests, but we won't forget you. We will remember. Ooh. All right, what's the next one? Ooh, what's the next one? Um, your perfect pack, purple teal. Purple teal. I buried it. <laughs> Don't touch the switch. <laughs> is the is the camera going flat? No. Oh. It's on the charger. I think it just lost focus for a second. Okay. So overhead, please. There you go. That is number four. That's number four. Half a meter of each for twenty dollars, and then they will divorce and go separately <laughs> on our website for twenty six dollars a meter each. Um, as soon as I can con the man to put those up. Is the next one the pretty blue one? Blue floral. Lovely. Okay, so this is probably my favourite today. I just love this and maybe because the weather's getting a bit cooler. But you've got uh, half a metre of the linen weight denim seven berry made in Japan with this gorgeous, gorgeous floral. Um, it will have friends on the website. This is P&B Textiles and may I say, hats off to them. That is just lovely. It is a uh, it is a revisit to a very, very popular range that they have had previously. So it looks a little bit familiar to you. It has come through before. Note that colour there. See that? It's this beautiful tealy green too. It makes it really nice and fresh. So that was number five. Five, half a metre of each. So you get a metre in total for $20. Where am I going? You are going to the Floral Paisley Brown Pack. Gotcha. Oh, you know what I've just seen? Oh, hang on. So this is number six. Okay, this is number six. So you've got half a metre each of those. I'm going to leave them there to the side. Beautiful. So half a metre of each with this gorgeous glittery gold for $20. And then the next special is? The large paper hexagon plastic hexagon. Okay. So this is $10 for your template and 100 of these so it will be best in best dressed we do do it tight now you need to know if you're going but 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 if i'm ordering 
by phone and she's on email and she's like, don't worry, everything gets time recorded. So whether it be Emma taking the order at work, whether it be um, us in an email, in messenger, whatever, we know when you place your order. So we do do it based on best in, best dressed. So that is special number Seven. Okay, leave them there. We've got ten of them. We've got ten of those, and then for nine dollars, this is special number eight. Yep. And we've got ten of these as well. So that's the smaller one. You've got a hundred of those with your template. Special number ten. ten. Nine. 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 nine for nine. Nine dollars. That's your sew line glue stick. Those of you who use them know that is a very very good deal, and you've got your refill in there as well. Number ten. The Tamari balls. Oh, my tamari balls. I'm going to lay these over the top because I want to leave those paisleys up. Ginny, about time you rocked up. She knew it was ending. There you go. So that's that pretty, pretty seven berry with the metallic gold over it in the tamari balls and blossoms. And that one is, what did I make up a price on that? 16 Kate? a meter. 16 and a there's meter. There's only eight meters. Of that. Eight meters of that. Hey, Gin. And number 11 is? Number 11 is our eggshell fusion. And this Look, look, oh, 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 that just, hang on. Oh, my Tinkerbell. There we go. Can I have a close up, Kate? I'm just, I just want the girls to see. See how oh, beautiful. Wait, can you just talk? Oh, yeah, I can talk. So, can I talk? She just asked if I can talk. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> All right, so if I sit that there, I just want you to see. This is what I call a perfect blender. So if I set this one on top that's got the paler cream in it, then this pulls up the paler cream in here. And when I set it against this one that's got the darker cream, it pulls up the darker cream that's in there. So it is a really, really lovely classic blender. Now she's ready to go. Here we are. So, you, so this one pulls up these darker creams and then the lighter in here pulls up the lighter ones. So they are really nice. So the eggshell fusions on its own, um, what did I make it up? 2150. 21.50. And that'll go on the website at 26. If you have back orders in the system, I will be doing them for 21.50 for you. So that is, that is it. This... This might, this might be a really nice um, fabric for the background on that, but I'm going to use it for the geisha. The background for this, uh, I will be honest. What is I'll, that called? This? Yeah. It was an English garden sampler. So the whole idea was like a walk on the garden path. Yes, yeah, it is. But I, I'm going to change, I need to change it a little bit, just a bit. It was my very brief pastel phase. <laughs> if you were doing the applique sampler, and you're on cream brulee, which is that beautiful, was it the, cream? The, the beautiful, rich, darker cream with a little gold speckle. That's what I'm planning on using as the background for this. And then pulling up rich rose pinks and plums. And it, it'll be, it's after the geisha. Geisha will be great as well. Someone in the UK conned me into doing the applique sampler in ombres. <laughs> Oh. I know, I know. So how did that happen? I don't know how that happened. Gone. But um, for, for the UK, we're doing it in. I'm not going to run it as a block of the month here, but I'm going to redo it in the original designs that were not as Australian. I don't know what happened in that conversation. <laughs> it's gone. Anyway, that is it for us today. I can't believe she. See, Rob's hunk doesn't need us. Uh, that is it for us for today. So thank you very, very much for joining us again today on Tuesday. We will be back. We're going to stick to this, even if we have to do it on our own next week. And I'm going to do it. I may be sitting down next week with my foot on the table. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not sure how I... I will mime. I'll stand there and pretend for you. And I'll Are put you a gonna mask mime? on. And you'll yeah. just be really tall for the day. You'll probably... <sighs> You'll Love have to height. adjust the cameras, Miss Six Foot Two, if you're going to do it. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you very much. So next week we are going to do that tote bag and the zip purse. So I will be sitting down doing a fair bit of sewing. Um, so we're going to get that ready. If you've got your designer block packs, have those ready to go with your template. So that's what we're going to be working on next week with a little pattern. You'd actually be able to start with me. You coming up or not? Come on then, quick. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
you'd be able to start with me next week with your pack so do have them ready with your template if you've got them and um, so we'll get those done next week and the week after that we're going to make that little stand for my phone and my iPad just bugging me so you have a fabulous week won't you any questions as always please just info me and uh, we'll get back to you as quick as we can all right enjoy the rest of your week and thank you very much bye